when this life is o'er, I'll fly away. celestial shore I'll fly away I'll fly away oh glory I'll fly away in the morning when I die hallelujah by and by I'll fly away When I die, hallelujah, by and by, I'll fly away. That's happy music, and we're happy today. So glad to be able to come to you on this edition of From the Shepherd to the Sheep. And today we have a guest speaker, my protege, Brother Tyler Candy. He's doing a great work for God, and we're so pleased with him and what he's doing for the Lord Jesus. We welcome him today. Brother Tyler. Hello and welcome to From the Shepherd to the Sheep. Welcome back to these devotionals we're having this month uh, from my devotions to you. And today I'd like to look at uh, Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 24. Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 24, you can look up there on the screen, the verse will be there. I hope that this verse will be an encouragement to you, a challenge to you, uh, some way will help you in your Christian walk with Christ today. Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 24, Bible says here, And that ye put on the new man, which after God is created in righteousness and true holiness. So what is this new man we're talking about here? Well, when you were born, you were born of your mother, of the womb, of water, as Jesus says. We were born of water, and that is the physical birth. And with that comes sin. Sin is passed down from the Father uh, all the way to uh, each person who is born gets their sin passed down through the Father. And that's why when Jesus was born, he was not born uh, through a physical relationship between a man and a woman. Uh, instead, the Holy Spirit in dwelt Mary and with, put within her Jesus Christ. And so there was no man, which means he was sinless. Uh, anyways, what we're talking about is the new man and the old man. The old man you get when you're born. And this is a sinful person. They're depraved. They're in need of a Savior. But as Jesus told Nicodemus in John chapter 3, you have to be born of water and of the Spirit to be able to go to the kingdom of heaven. And so that spiritual birth is the second birth. That's being called born again. And when we get born again, we get the new man. Now we get an opportunity each and every day to live victoriously for Jesus Christ. We get an opportunity to live our lives in the new man. And you see, this new life is created in holiness. When we got saved, uh, our records were changed. Now no longer does, does God see our sinless, stained, uh, our sinful, stained record, but instead he sees nothing. He sees emptiness. He sees the record of Jesus Christ, which is sinless and perfect. And so our new life is born in holiness. We are called to be holy, not to be sinless and perfect, but to be called, to, we are called to be holy. What that means is we ought to live our lives in a way in which exemplifies Jesus Christ. We ought to live our lives in a way that uh, we abstain from the things of the world, the flesh and the devil, and instead strive for the fruit of the Spirit and uh, being able to do the things that God wants us to do in our lives. It's a choice that you and I have to make to put that new man on each and every day. Each and every day, you and I have a decision to make. Are we going to live for the old man? Or are we going to live for the new man? Are we going to live in the world and the flesh and the devil? Or are we going to live in spiritual things are we going to live in the light of Jesus Christ? And are we going to show other people that? Because that's the other aspect of this. As you're a Christian, you get the opportunity to live for the old and the new man. You, we ought not live for the old man. We ought to live for the new man. It's created in holiness. We, we, give that, we have an opportunity to live holy. And so when we go out into the world and we're living just like everybody else, nobody will notice that you and I are saved. Nobody will notice that you and I actually have a new man. And so if we don't live for that new man, people won't know that we have that new man to live for. Kind of goes back to what we talked about uh, last week in, in, in Luke chapter 11, where um, we ought not hide our light. We ought to shine that light for others to see. And that comes out through your life. People will see your light through your life. And so are you, is your life the old life? Are you living for the old life? Or are you living for the new life today? Paul here in Ephesians chapter 4, and verse 24 says, put on the new man. 
That's your decision. You must put it on, just like you put on a jacket or a coat or your pair of socks in the morning. You ought to put on the new man. Make that decision today, which after God is created in righteousness and true holiness. True holiness comes from God. And the only way that we can achieve that true holiness is by putting on that new man each and every day and living our lives conformed to the image of Jesus Christ. I hope that you can be challenged and encouraged by this. Know that today you have the opportunity to put that new man on. And if you don't know what we're talking about uh, yet because you haven't gotten saved yet, you don't have access to the new man yet. You must get saved before you can have access to the new man and living your life in the right way through the Lord Jesus Christ. And just like Jesus was talking in Nicodemus and says that you must be born of water and of the Spirit to be able to see the kingdom of God, you must do that too. And you're gonna have an opportunity to do that in just a moment. But Christian, I hope that you'll live your life for Christ today. Put on that new man today and live victoriously uh, in the world and, the, and not dealing with the flesh and, and the worldly things of this world, but live your life for Christ. I hope that you'll contend for the faith. Pray for revival and may the Lord bless you. Thank you so much for that. What a blessing. Let's go to God in prayer. Father, we thank you so much for what we've heard today. Help us now to know for sure that heaven is our home and that we're living in the center of your perfect will. With our heads bowed and eyes closed, if you've never been saved, call upon the name of Jesus right now. He's the only one who can save you. Just pray something like this from your heart to God. Dear God, I admit that I'm a sinner. I deserve to pay for my sins. I believe Jesus died to save me, and right now I receive him into my heart as my own personal Savior. If you prayed that prayer, won't you let us know? We'd love to rejoice with you and be a help to you. And right now, I want to encourage everyone to keep winning souls and keep on living the Christian life. Father, we thank you for the Christians out there today who've been encouraged and are going to go on for you today. Help them, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. You know... The only way we can live this life for Jesus Christ successfully is by His grace. Join me if you would. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me I once was lost but now I'm found was blind but now I see God bless you today You are listening to From the Shepherd to the Sheep Daily Devotionals. This is a ministry of Central Baptist Church in Woodbridge, Virginia. If you would like to learn more about our ministries, you can find us online at cbcwoodbridge.org. You will also find many other helpful resources there, including preaching, devotionals, and songs. We thank you for listening to this devotional, From the Shepherd to the Sheep.